We're standing here with a 1925 Ford Model TT truck, one of the factory built trucks built by Ford Motor Company. The TT is based on the Model T automobile. In fact, it's got the very same engine, 177 cubic inches, 20 horsepower. The only major differences are the, the chassis and the suspension are a little beefier on the TT. The wheelbase on a standard Model T is 100 inches. On the Model TT truck, it's 125 inches. And it's also got a worm drive rather than a pinion geared drive as you'd find in the typical Model T, which really slows down the speed of the truck. The Model TT tops out at about 15 miles an hour compared to, oh, maybe 40 miles an hour top end for a standard Model T. In fact, uh, aftermarket gearboxes were popular additions for these trucks. Uh, with one of those, you could get the speed up to closer to 25 miles an hour. Ford experimented with trucks in its early years. In fact, it had built some even before 1910, but for whatever reason, they never really stuck with it. Instead, they would just sell chassis, and then customers could then take the chassis to a private truck builder to have a cab and a truck bed built. You saved money when you bought just a chassis. For example, in 1916, the Model T touring car cost about $440. Whereas if you bought just the chassis, you're looking at $360. But Ford eventually realized there was a market for factory built trucks, so they introduced the TT in 1917. They built only three of them in that first model year, but the next year they built more than 40,000. Clearly it caught on very quickly. The Model TT truck, especially the farm truck, the configuration that we have here, it's really a fitting continuation of what was really Henry Ford's lifelong ambition, and that was to reduce the labor of the farmer. And in a sense, the Model T helped do that, certainly by eliminating or at least reducing some of the isolation associated with living on a farm. But the Model TT truck allowed farmers to carry their produce directly to market in some cases, or maybe to the nearest railroad. And it also provided some rudimentary family transportation. So it really was a continuation of Ford's natural desire to make farm life easier. It's interesting to think back, you know, how long it took Ford to really seriously commit itself to building factory built trucks. And you think about today when trucks like the F-150, which has been Ford's best selling product for decades. Uh, so it really is a, a complete turnaround. I mean, today trucks are the bread and butter for Ford Motor Company and other American automakers as well. So it uh, represents a real shift in the marketplace.